In this video, believe it or not, I want to talk to you about a spaghetti with ice. Hey, 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 it's John here at Hyped It. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how I got into music promotion and what all of this has to do with a spaghetti with ice. This month, I will cross 7 million streams on my music on Spotify. And I can honestly say that I'm feeling proud of how my music does. This was a long journey. It's not the end of the journey, far from it. This is going to continue, but this is also not where it started. And to understand where it started, I need to take you back to my elementary school years. What you can see when I'm shooting these videos here for you is that I'm very tall. I'm six foot eight tall. That's over two meters in the metric system. And it's always been like that for me. So even in elementary school, I was always a head taller compared to everybody else. But I wasn't just taller. I was also thin like a pencil. And what that means is that I was different. I was different from all of the other kids around me in school. And if you look different in elementary school, that's not always a good thing. And for me, it wasn't a good thing. The kid that's being made fun of, that's being bullied, the kid that's the outsider, that was me in elementary school. And so at an age when young kids start building their confidence, the exact opposite happened for me. I felt out of place and I just felt so insecure with myself. And what started in elementary school, it just continued into middle school and then high school. Because I was still so tall and so thin, somebody started calling me spaghetti with eyes. And this was even worse because now I was in my teenage years. I got interested in girls. And what chance do you think the spaghetti with eyes has going out with the pretty girls in his class? None, right? So I had no confidence. Whenever I was the center of attention, it usually was because somebody made fun of me and I hated it. I really hated it and I was looking for a way out. I could have tried it in many ways, but I just ended up being average in most stuff. I was an average student. I had no way to stand out with academics. I was an average athlete, so I couldn't stand out with sports. But I did have a knack for music and maybe just a little bit more talent than the average student at my school. And so at one point, my music teacher gave me a chance to play the drums in a class band that he was putting together. And I remember this as if it was yesterday. There was a small hand-selected group of students playing the instruments, playing the band, and then there was the rest of the class, which seemed like a huge audience at the time, watching us. This was one of the first times I got attention and spotlight in a way that actually felt good. I was part of a band. I belonged to a group of people all of a sudden. This experience was so powerful that I couldn't let go. So I continued to play in this band. I eventually joined another band as well as their drummer. And then eventually I discovered electronic music and it just grabbed me. Electronic music is all that I wanted to make and I wanted to be known for. This was my vehicle, right? This was my way out. Now, just like most music artists, I quickly discovered that just making good music alone didn't give me any popularity. So in the beginning, I'd be so shy to even tell people about my music because I didn't want them to see that I didn't have any fans or listeners. I actually believed in my music. I thought my music was good. I just didn't have any audience or fans to back it up. So eventually, more out of necessity than out of passion, I started promoting my music. I started putting my music out there in very systematic ways to reach and get more fans. My listeners grew, my fan base grew, and what's even more powerful is that all of a sudden I was getting messages from those fans, DMs, emails, what have you, telling me how much they loved my music. Can you imagine what that does to a kid that was mostly made fun of in school? There I was you know, spaghetti with ice and here all of a sudden I had fans that told me they loved what I was making. My mind was just blown by that experience. Making good music, sure, that was the starting point, but promoting that music and getting all that amazing feedback, that changed everything. And it was just like pouring fuel on the fire in a really big way. It's been many years since this happened and I started promoting my music and lots of good things happened because of it. I released countless tracks. I got record label deals, even including a deal with Warner Music. I played live on TV. I played lots of live gigs, including in street parades. I even played in front of 10,000 folks at an EDM festival. I met and I collaborated with amazing people 
who just accepted me for who I am. And I'm about to cross 7 million streams on Spotify. But what's even more, and what all of this has done, is it turned a completely insecure spaghetti with eyes into a spaghetti with eyes that can now look into the mirror or into a camera like this one here with you on the other side with a lot more confidence. I can talk about all of this today, even with a smile, but it just blows my mind if I think about how important that musical journey was in my life. I moved to New York City. I married an amazing wife. We have two beautiful daughters today. And who knows, none of this might have ever happened. I might have never had the courage to even talk to her in the first place if it wasn't for the confidence that I gained with my music, my audience, and my fans. This personal experience is the reason why I'm so passionate about helping other music artists find their fans, find their audience, and getting their music heard. This isn't just about changing a few metrics in Spotify, right? This is about literally changing lives. And this is why I was so touched here by what Tom posted inside one of my Facebook groups that I decided to share with you. Tom said, I would like to express my gratitude to John Gold and the Spotify growth engine. Earlier this week, I officially hit 1 million streams on Spotify. And most of those streams have been delivered over the past 15 months using the techniques John taught me. I had 7,000 total streams in October of 2021 before I started using the Spotify growth engine. I say all of this just to say that the methods do work. Now, admittedly, I've invested a ton of money into these campaigns, so I don't want people to think I achieved these results in a little over a year at five bucks a day. I've been running several campaigns at a time, at least $10 a day for each campaign, but the results, in my view, have been worth it. This is a huge milestone for me, and pay attention to this one here. After 18 years of making music and having no success getting hurt, I finally feel the recognition and acknowledgement I've been seeking all these years. Thank you again, John and Hypedit for helping me realize my goals. I was absolutely blown away when I read this. And I know Tom mentions the Spotify growth engine here a couple of times, but that's not what this is about. The point here is that Tom committed to promoting his music and he did it. After 18 years, he feels the recognition and the acknowledgement that he's been seeking all this time. Do you see how powerful this is? This is what I experienced as well. And so for those of you who have similar struggles to what I talked about earlier, know that you can come out strong. Know that you can get the recognition, the acknowledgement, and the confidence that you deserve when you commit to building an audience of real diehard fans around you. And that's what I'm here to help you with, with this YouTube channel, with Hyped It, and with everything I do. So with this video, I wanna invite you to share your story. Post it in the comments below. Let me know your struggles, your goals, how I can help. I wanna hear from you. If you believe, if you know that your music career can change your life, then I'm here to help you along every step of the way. With that said, I can't wait to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Cheers.